Hi, I'm Mima. I'm a grandma and a mom, and I am in Arizona right now, and look what I found. This cool book, Santa is Coming to Arizona. Isn't that great? So this is a Christmas story, and let's see what it says. Santa is Coming to Arizona. Oh, let me tell you who wrote it and who illustrated it. It's written by Steve Smallman and illustrated by Robert Dunn. And they both did an excellent job. Here we go. Santa is coming to Arizona. Have you ever been to Arizona? It's very sunny here. Okay. Well, Well, boomed Santa, How, have all the children from Arizona been good this year? Raise your hand if you've been good. Awesome. Well, uh, mostly answered the little old elf as he hustled across the busy workshop to Santa's desk. Santa peered down at the elf from behind the tall, teetering piles of letters that the children of Arizona had sent him. Mostly, asked Santa, looking over the top of his glasses, like I'm looking over mine right now. Yes, but they've especially been good in the last few days, said the elf. Jolly good, chuckled Santa. Then we'd better get their presents loaded up. Even though the sack of presents was really, really big and the elves were really, really small, they seemed to have no trouble loading it into Santa's sleigh. Though, how they managed to fit such a big sack into one little sleigh, even though they didn't know, but somehow they did. Splendid, boomed Santa. We're ready to go. Uh, er, not quite, Santa, said the little old elf. One of our reindeer is missing. Where is the reindeer? Missing? Which reindeer is missing, asked Santa. The youngest one, Santa, said the elf. It's his first flight tonight. I've called him and called him, but just then, a young reindeer strolled up, munching on a large carrot. Where have you been? asked Santa. But the youngest reindeer was crunching so loudly that it was no wonder he hadn't heard the little old elf calling. Oh, well, never mind, said Santa, giving the reindeer a little wink. He took out his Santa nav and tapped in the coordinates for Arizona. This will guide us to Arizona in no time. And the little reindeer's crunch, 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 still eating his carrot. <clears throat> With a flick of the reins and a jerk of the harness, off they went, racing through the sky. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. Can you say ho, ho, ho? Let's say it together. You want to say it together again? Ready? Ho, ho, ho. We'll soon have these presents delivered to the Grand Canyon State. So the Grand Canyon State is another name for Arizona. It's known for the Grand Canyon because the Grand Canyon is in the state. Look at this, look at the words, how cool that is. See them in the sky above the buildings? It says, Santa's sleigh flew through the starry night, heading south across the Arctic Ocean. On they flew in the wintry air, crossing the Great Lakes. In the wink of an eye, the sleigh was flying above the Great Plains and on over the Rocky Mountains. 
The youngest reindeer was very excited. He had never been away from the North Pole before. They were just nearing Stony Mountain when suddenly they ran into a thick fog. Mist swirled around the sleigh. They couldn't see a thing. See the fog? That's what this all is, the fog. It made it difficult for them to see anything. The youngest reindeer was getting a bit worried, but Santa didn't seem concerned. In two miles, said the Santa Nav, in a bossy lady's voice, keep left at the next star. But ma'am, Santa blustered, I can't see any stars in all this fog. Soon they were hopelessly lost. <clears throat> ding dong, ding dong. Then through the swirling fog, the youngest reindeer heard a faint ringing sound. Ding dong. Can you say that? Kind of make it sound like it's ringing in your voice, okay? Like this. Ding dong. Can you try it? Good job. He looked over at the old reindeer with a red nose, but he had his head down. Red nose. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. Do you know who has the red nose? Which reindeer? If you said Rudolph, you're right. And then it's louder, ding dong, ding dong. There was that sound again, like church bells ringing. The youngest reindeer turned around to look at Santa, but Santa wasn't listening. He seemed to be arguing with a little box with buttons on it. With a flick of the harness and a jerk of the reins, the youngest reindeer gave a sharp tug and headed off toward the sound of the bells, pulling Santa and his sleigh behind him. See, he turned and he headed toward the sound. Which sound was that? That's right, ding dong, the church bells. Whoa, whoa, cried Santa, pulling his hat straight. What's going on? Then to his surprise, he heard this, the ringing sound. Well done, young reindeer, he shouted cheerfully. It must be St. Mary's Basilica. Don't worry, children. Santa is coming. Then suddenly, crunch. The sleigh hit something as it plummeted through the fog. You have arrived, said the Santa Nav, unhelpfully. Uh-oh. Finally, when the fog had lifted, Santa discerned exactly where they were, stuck right at the very top of Phoenix City Hall. Everybody pull! The reindeer pulled with all their might until at last, with a screeching noise, the sleigh scraped deer, scraped clear, and Santa steered them safely across downtown Phoenix over the rooftops of West Roosevelt Street, above the library, and down into Encanto Park. So that was downtown Phoenix. And then they landed in the park, in Canto Park. Luckily, there was no real damage done, but the packages had all been jumbled up. Santa quickly started out, oh, sorry, Santa quickly sorted out the presents into order again. All right, said Santa, thanks to this young reindeer, I know where we are now. Don't worry, children, Santa is coming. Santa drove his sleigh expertly from rooftop to rooftop all over Arizona, popping in and out of chimneys as fast as he could go, which was pretty fast for a chubby fellow. There were big chimneys in Avondale and small chimneys in Scottsdale. He squeezed down thin chimneys in Mesa and plummeted down fat chimneys in Peoria.
The youngest reindeer was amazed at how quickly they went. Santa never seemed to get tired at all. And it looked like the children in Arizona were going to be very lucky this year. But the youngest reindeer was starting to feel a bit weary and quite hungry too. Oh, he does look hungry and a little weary, doesn't he? In house after house, Santa delved inside his sack for packages of every shape and size. He piled them under the Christmas trees and carefully filled up the stockings with surprises. With surprises. In house after house, the good children of Arizona had left out a plate of cookies, a small glass of milk, and a big crunchy carrot. Santa took a little bite out of each cookie, a tiny sip of milk, wiped his beard, and popped the carrots into his sack. From Phoenix to Flagstaff, from Chandler to Yuma, from Tucson to Tempe, and all the places in between. Santa and his sleigh visited every house in Arizona. Santa delivered presents to Andrew, Ellison, Aniston, Arabella, Archie, Ashley, uh, Crew, Corbin, Kevin, Zach, Zara, Zeb, Zoe, Zibble, Zibble? That must be a spelling mistake, maybe? <laughs> Finally, Santa had delivered the last present um, on his long Arizona list. Great moons and stars! sighed Santa. It's past midnight and my sack seems as heavy as ever. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. Santa opened his sack to check, but it was full of juicy, crunchy carrots. Santa divided the carrots among all the reindeer. Well done, he said, patting the youngest reindeer gently on the nose. But the youngest reindeer didn't hear him. He was too busy munching. Then it was time to set off for home. Santa reset his Santa nav once more to the North Pole, and soon they were speeding over the Colorado River above the Grand Canyon through the crisp, starry night. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. Merry Christmas, Arizona. Merry Christmas, everybody. Here's the Grand Canyon. And let's do another ho, 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 just like Santa. Are we ready? Ho, ho, ho. Good job. I hope you enjoyed this book. Santa is coming to Arizona. And I hope you'll come back again for another story sometime. And please remember one important thing about Mima is that I love you. Bye now.